Hello everyone, this video we will look at how to install Mosquito Brook on Home Assistant because when running the Raspberry Pi, we need to install the MQTT Brook on the Raspberry Pi so that the K86 server will integrate all this output and all this input uh, to the Home Assistant. So let's look at the first, uh, the MQTT structure. I think you need to know some basic of the MQTT. Uh, this is yellow is MQTT server. Uh, this is server and this is client. So this is a CS structure. And usually we have called the server, uh, called the server. And the bird in MQTT we usually call it the brook. The brook almost as thin as the server. We just call it the brook. So there are many MQTT client. Client 1, 2, 3, and X, uh, many, many. You can connect to one. MQTT broke just MQTT server. And in our this demo solution, you can see uh, here is the diagram. This is Mosquito broke installed on the CM4, the Raspberry Pi 4, inside of this box. And this is the Home Assistant is a client. The Home Assistant, maybe you, you are uh, using your computer and your mobile phone, like this mobile phone. This also is a client. My computer is a client. And the Home Assistant system is client is installed on the Raspberry Pi. And also the KC868 server, the hardware is a client. And if uh, in future we will integrate this A16 board, uh, integrate to the Home Assistant, also this is a client. So this is MQTT client, this is MQTT client, and this is MQTT client, and my computer also is MQTT client. So that all have connect with this broke. Now the step two, we need to install the MQTT broke on the Home Assistant because the Mosquito is widely used uh, in Home Assistant. So now we will look at how to install it. And we can open this web browser of your Home Assistant. Last video, we have installed the Home Assistant system. And we just go to configuration and go to the add-on, uh, this add-on, and the add-on store. Click this one, and uh, this is listed, and uh, you will find Mosquito is listed uh, at here. Uh, and also, you can input Mosquito, so that will uh, list only Mosquito. Just click, and we click the install, just install online. And after, after we install it, uh, we just need to configuration for the username and the password. So the username and the password are just replaced by yourself. And uh, we can wait for a moment uh, when this install is complete. Okay, this install is complete. Not click this start because we need to configuration firstly. And this login is empty, no anything. So I just copy this username and the password and copy and paste to the Home Assistant Mosquito configuration. And paste uh, just like this. The username is MMQTT and the password is 123 just for demo, easy to remember this. And we can click save. And now you can click this info and click start when you're to running the Mosquito Brook. Okay, now it's running. And now we can go to uh, this web page and you can see uh, this MQTD communication model. So this is a Brook, this is a server, uh, this is a client. Maybe it's your mobile phone or maybe it's a relay board. So that needed to send the message to the server and receive the message from the server. So we'll have two topic, two topic. This one is A topic, this is B topic. So this client sends the message to A topic and receive message from the B topic. So in next video, I will uh, explain how to uh, use the topic and how to set the topic and what's uh, different. Now, just I will tell you, uh, the client will have two topics for send message and receive message. So, after you understand this one and uh, install complete the Mosquito, 
then we can use the MQTT test communication test function uh, by the mosquito. You just go to this configuration device and config. So we can go to this way and the configuration and the device. And you will find the MQTT. So we can click config. And this is the first time, so you can submit. And this is successfully. Now Home Assistant is connected to this block. So we can click. And you can see uh, this configuration uh, broke part, username and the password is. You can change by yourself. MQTT123. And the block, uh, you can see what's the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. You can go to your load and see uh, what's the Home Assistant or IP address. So this is my IP address. I can import and click Next. And this is just default and not needed to change and the submit. And option, save. OK, let's test it. Uh, such as this is a topic to listening. And this is publish a topic uh, to this one. So if you want to uh, create a topic ABC, click Start Listening. And you can send the message to ABC. And I can send the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you can see I publish. And this is received successfully. That is, from this topic, you can receive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If I uh, set the topic to A, B, C, D, and this is A, B, C, so I can press the publish, and this is nothing, and nothing received. So the MQTT, you can only send to the topic just uh, you want. So I can send to change to the A, B, C, and we can, I can send to 7, 8. So click Publish, so that will be received. So this is MQD structure. Uh, you can send the message to topic. And because we send to this message to this topic, maybe uh, we have many clients uh, needed to this topic. And usually we have user relay board. Uh, so this is a relay board, and maybe this have a mobile phone, or maybe have a PC software. So this topic is a relay state. So if I turn on the relay, and this topic is changed, and every client can receive the message from the topic B, that is state. So if you can turn on the relay one, and every other client, uh, maybe mobile phone A, mobile phone B, will update the switch state uh, from this topic. So that is MQTT communication. In next video, we will use this KC86 server and integrate to the MQTT by, uh, to Home Assistant. Uh, so we will, you will understand easily and how to work with MQTT from the output and the input. Okay, thanks for watching.